suppose I can turn the sound on too. I see jets of some alchemical compound coat these humming canid upon turning the valve. You hear a definite alteration in the pitch of the hiss. As I am a little bit laggy here, but not too, too bad, I guess. Dang lag. Without the alchemical jets coating the painted power crystals, you can now easily destroy them. As the last crystal shatters, the hum of power slowly fades into a heavy silence. <coughs> Let's <coughs> lag through and raise a higher. We'll do it. Then heal us. Oh yeah. Background light. Ah, shut that off. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Where's my lunch? Because I'm getting hungry. Z. Good higher. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream this. It's just lagging too much. But you can get an idea of where I am. I am at um, rank 18. And I don't know. A fifth of the way through rank 18. So I've got 40k, I don't know, 60k is the next level. So 16k to level up to be XP capped. But I'm not really going to worry about that. My goal here is actually working on this list to get all of this to elite so I can get 400 here. Um, that is my goal to hit 400 favor by running elites. Um, I'm even going to, I even expect to have to run some stuff on elite and not get any XP for it because I'll be XP capped, which may end up hurting my build in the long run, but I need to get, <coughs> get drow unlocked, so. Oh no, the Sawagan found me. Suddenly the air shimmers with devour a magic. The Sahagin have followed you in and are attacking. He feels love with your hands now. More attacks! 
Good thing I have a higher with lag. Or I'd be in rough shape. looks weary after surviving this latest attack. Perhaps you should talk to him again. You have reached the gold limit of 50,000 gold and cannot receive any more gold. <coughs> Your limit will increase with each level you gain. This limit does not apply to premium and free-to-play accounts. Yay. It really is a free-to-play account. Can't take my gold. Because I got too much of it. it means I gotta go to um, the auction house and buy some more stuff for no particular reason. With Hayden, the people of Korthos might finally win this. But I really don't care. I'm going to stream for about a half an hour, I guess, or another half an hour, I guess. Um, I got to pay attention to what my hard drive's at. A mangled sewer grate leads to an old abandoned Kenneth manufactory. I've only got 84 gigabytes left on my hard drive um these streams take up two or three gigabytes a piece so i'm okay for now but i'm gonna have to shuffle some of that stuff around pretty soon um just had to take a peek at that good to go back in the game <clears throat> Go head over and kill Jacob Jacoby Drexelhand again. I'm gonna have to come up with some new text. I think I'm just gonna do a new text for each different build. And then toggle them. I wish I could toggle them in groups, but um, <laughs> XSplit doesn't support toggleable groups, grouping things up. The decrepit catacombs are slightly obscured by the falling water. Otherwise, I could do the dwarven barbarian, the server. And then the build link and the weight of dark stone. all in one group because I'm going to have two different servers, four different builds, and four different port build links. It'd be nice to be able to just swap them at all will. Of a sudden, the sense of rot and decay assailed the muscles. Something in the corner, you see the glint of metal as the secret door slides open. You see a magical cell across the chamber. Could it be holding Drusen? What on earth are you doing up there? Little Miss Hireling.
I bought a couple things on the auction house already. I picked up a um, Maul of Vengeance, plus one Adamantine Maul, and a plus one Poison Great Axe. As you can see from this list, I've already done most of Korthos on Elite. I got Sacrifices, Necromancers, Doom, and Misery's Peak left to do. Probably do those before I call it a stream and go get some lunch. And then I'll be back and depending on the lag, I'll either stream some more or I'll just run stuff. I'm very sad that I'm not going to be able to get one of the nicest malls in the game. Um, it drops in Necropolis and I'm just not going to have the turbine points to buy it for quite some time. Um, Gravis is streaming already. He's not supposed to stream for another hour, but okay. It cannot be. Jacoby Drexelham stands before you. Not alive. Not quite dead. He cackles as he swears vengeance upon you. Hey Titan, how's it going? Just working on farming out some XP for this build and some favor so that I can unlock Drow from my build next week. Spits a curse and swears to return again before collapsing in a heap of bones. You take the cell from his remains. Rapid catacombs are slightly obscured by the falling water. Got one explorer left to do here. Ah, uh, I don't remember what it is. Oh, the tree. Let's go take care of that. <clears throat> Might as well unlock the wilderness. The map. Get rid of the fog of war. Getting rid of the fog of war just requires doing all of the explorers. A little bit laggy here. Apparently I didn't get the tree last time I was here. The Sawagin have turned this tree into a site for sacrifices to the devourer. What did I miss then? platform over here? No. 
The Shrine to the Devourer. Hmm. Must be that little platform down on the other side. Alright. Let's head over there. Woo! 390 XP. Shrine to the Devourer. Alright, so now I'm confused. I've gone by all the things that I thought that was. Let's pull it up on the wiki. Corthos Island. Shrine to the Devourer. Oh, it's down by Sissick. I see where it is. It's down by Sussex. Ah, uh, you can't see it. There we go. So it's way down over here by Sussex, behind Amalgam. Okay. So if I'm, I'm right here right now. If I go straight ahead, it'll be right down there. Alright, let's go back to in-game. Close that. <clears throat> so this shrine is that thing right there. Whee! Splash! Make sacrifices to their evil god shrine. Come on, quit lagging. Lovely in-game music. Let's go talk to Amalgam real quick. Oh, I've already talked to him. Okay. So let's go run the quest. Flag! Network lag. It's not machine lag, not hard drive lag, not server lag, network lag. Means I have a lousy internet connection. There are three types of lag. There is local lag for your machine. It can be caused by your video card, your hard drive, any number of local things to your machine. There's network lag, the thing the which is any lag that is the connection between your machine and the server. Um, this entrance leads down. Caused by your ISP or an ISP that your ISP uses to connect to the trunk line or something on the connection side of the server, but it's still network lag. It's not the server itself. It's not your machine. Not much that can be done about it except call your ISP. 
Tell them to fix your connection. Resilient spy radars block your path. They don't look Best you can do. Standing blows from your weapon. And then the third type of lag is server lag. The cells in this room hold a number of desperate Korthos villages. If you're the only one in your party lagging, chances are it's your machine or It's your machine, or it's um, network network lag on your end of the connection. If everybody in your party is lagging, it's normally either server lag or network lag on turbine side of the connection. You can never be sure which it is. Not really, except on your end, you can know that it's your machine or your ISP. Um, on turbine's end. Yeah, you don't know if it's the server or their internet connection or the trunk line or something of that nature. There are some indicators of which it might be, but you can never be certain. Um, if everybody's lagging, but things in the game are continuing to go, like the mobs are continuing to attack you and stuff like that, then it's probably network lag. If everybody in the party is lagging and nothing on the server is happening, the mobs aren't attacking, they're all lagging too, then it is probably server lag. That's basically all you, all you have to be able to tell. As you can see, I'm sitting on a level and a bunch of action points. Um, I'm only going to spend those action points and take those level ups when I am running the DDO stream for this character, this build. Um, so it'll be th three more weeks before I get to using any of those. Um, ow! Come here, Hyrling. Hi Heal me. Quit thinking. Do. and intimidate at five. Flop. Drenal Fallow Flippy Flop. The evil spill innocent blood no more. Grab some loot. Give me all my goodies. Yes, I know I can't take the eighty three gold because I have too much gold.
You actually don't have to click on anything, you just have to QE the people, and then when you run away, it automatically assumes that you completed it. And I think I just got Misery's Peak left to do. So let's go ahead over and get Misery's Peak done. Pop out, pop back in. Ah! Repair real quick. I won't be able to sell, but I can repair. Now I might be able to sell a few things. The low end stuff, once I repair, use up some of that plat. Repairing doesn't use a lot of plat, but. I wonder if I can buy potions. Heal potions. You come across a makeshift camp. A scraggly dwarf sits Start by on repair. Log, trying in vain to keep warm. Starter potion, cure light wounds. Let's pick up um, 86 of them, so I'll have 100. I don't care. I got to get rid of some plat. All right. So now I have 100 of those. Can sell this. Oh, can I sell it all? I can. Good. Now I have some room in my inventory. <coughs> Inventory space is always an issue. Hmm. A bone chilling breeze emanates from the mouth of Misery's Peak. Make sure that. That public opening shows it as one to four. Nope, that's not what I want. I want one to four. Update. One to four. Update. Update. Okay, high content I don't own. Don't show groups I'm not eligible for. Now. My only group that I'm eligible for is my group. Let's talk to Lars real quick. Come. There isn't much time. Well, that's good. Then quit talking. Salinas, ready your party. I'll weaken the barrier for you. Ready. Ready. Charge! I want to go with you, Salinas. Wait for me. Aw, man. For you. Now to find this quarry I missed it. Off. Yeah, I'm already gone. Uh oh, I gotta sneeze. Was painful. Coughing and sneezing are usually pretty painful. I don't know why. Ow! Ah, my legs hurt. My feet are numb, tingly from falling asleep. My feet are cold. Let's turn the heat up. This will give me rank 19, which is almost level 5. So I'll have some stuff to spend on my stream in January when I run this tune again. Several humanoid fillers surround a glowing pedestal. Their putrid forms are frozen in contorted 
their faces set in silent eternal screams. I wish there wasn't an a um XP cap the way that it's set up. XP cap is fine, but I would think that three levels would be more appropriate. I mean That matter, I really don't even see the purpose of an XP cap. The way that XP scales, if you really wanted to run to 20 running level 1 and 2 quests, then as a level 3 character, then you should be able to. I mean, it's going to take you forever to do, but if you really wanted to bank that much XP, go for it. That's m just my out outtake on it. But... The original developers had a different idea. A team that is no longer there. Um, I don't think it's anything that they plan to reconsider. I don't know that I would even ask them to, because it's something that's been in the game for so long, and it's buried so deep in the legacy code that nobody would want to touch it anyways. So we're just going to kind of run with it, but... would be nice if there wasn't an XP cap, or if there was some way to bank XP past two levels. Maybe add um, XP gems as an end reward option. You could take, you know, a couple hundred XP with you or whatever. And you could actually put those in the bank make like value stack maybe so if you had 10 200 the gems they would stack by a pair of signal crystals hopefully the control mechanism is in this cavern somewhere have them only show up and be available when you're at cap all kinds of ideas Right now I'm sitting on four 400 XP gems, so that's, no, three 400 XP gems, so that'll be 1,200. I intend to log into this account every day until my bank is full of XP gems, so... And then I'm still going to log in and just keep the largest ones. At least that is my plan. To use Expedious Retreat, go a little bit faster here. You can tell where the ice spiders are by the little cold patches that are underneath their feet. Hey, Sarlona. Just doing a little bit of XP farming. Well, favor farming, basically. The XP that I get from this will be... I'll hit XP cap long before I'm done favor farming. And I need, need to hit that 400 tier for next week's stream. Stuffy nose, sore throat. That's one o'clock already. So once I get finished up with this quest, I'm gonna take a break for lunch. And then I'll be back to farm some more XP.
not having Devil's Assault is going to be hard not having the Abishai set. Something I'm used to running with at level 5. Not having Dolores, no voice of the master. F doing free to play is going to be going to be kind of rough, but we can get it done. Which server are you on? Sarlona? With the second Just a wild guess. You hear the stone door at the base of the cavern rolling open. Because I have four builds to make, which means that two of them are going to be on Orion here, and two of them are going to have to be on another server because I only get two character slots as a free-to-play account. So maybe I'll do the other two, the cleric and the wizard, on Sarlona. And you can help me favor farm with a low-level character to cap XP on Sarlona between week 3 and 4. Because I'm going to need Drow for Wizard as well. I actually did get one person on Orion here that sent me an in-game mail asking if they could, you know, run with me. Um, I added him to my friends list, we'll see what happens. Alright, when I get to Sarlona, I'll take a look at that. Chills run down your spine. I can make that jump. Oh man! Won't let me. Come on! Come on! Kill ya! All right, moving on. Ah! Almost froze me. I think it should allow Misery's Peak on this difficulty should allow you to be frozen for 15 seconds there. That would be awesome. It would be hilarious to see all the new people running up to the dragon being all cool, realizing that the dragon can't hurt them and then getting frozen. <laughs> no damage, just frozen for 12 seconds. Make them go, oh crap, what happened? That would be hilarious. They should add that in as a 4th of July joke, or um, an April Fool's joke, and then just leave it there. I get the URL for this build. It's actually got <coughs> the three levels that are already here. And it, it actually has the next three levels in that forum post as well. So you can build ahead a little bit if you want to. I think um, Titan fell asleep on me. Pikers Anonymous, Agent sent me a message on Twitch, interesting. <clears throat> Somebody trying to sell me stuff. Awesome. Uh, happy Burgermas at Red Robin. I can. I don't eat bacon. 
I don't eat much cheeseburger either. Yes, I, I did say that. I don't eat bacon. Just simply because it's pork. And I don't eat pork. Hi, Titan. Yes, you're there. Uh, Piker's Anonymous. Where is the Piker's Anonymous page that I just made? So it's no, it's Piker's underscore anonymous. Bacon causes cancer, Titan? You really think that bacon causes cancer? Isn't the fact that bacon causes obesity bad enough? I mean, come on now. Or, or does it? Hmm. Does bacon cause it? obesity? Or does obesity cause obesity? Ooh, good question. Does bacon cause high cholesterol? Does bacon clog your arteries? How good is bacon for you, or bad? Hopefully the switch is nearby and not that is the question. So we need to do a show all about bacon. What are the facts and myths about bacon? Be an interesting show, wouldn't it? Bacon. Myth or fact? The ground quavers, and you look down to see a tunnel beneath the ice. <laughs> the dragon roars as I didn't expect I'd have that many viewers on my own channel. I don't stream very much or anything very interesting. I think this is boring as heck. If I didn't need the favor, I wouldn't be doing it. I'll favor an XP, but I've almost got the XP done. I might even have it done before the end of the quest. Yes, he's been doing a lot of the traps and locks pages, which is awesome. It's a project that I've wanted to work on for a while, and I just never get time to actually get on a trapper and pick apart the trap DCs. I try to do the best I can briefly when new stuff comes out, but sitting there and picking stuff apart, a signal it's difficult for me. As you engage Looks the like my hireling is going to need to shrine after this run, this section. I could spend some action points to pick up my, my cleave. My 
could get a cleave as part of my Ravager, I think it is. Or Frenzy Berserker. Hundred and ten monsters killed. Ninety nine of them are mine. Charge. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell him the rest. He's just going to sit down and do it. From the oh, he sat down to do it, and then he got up to heal me. So I guess he changed his mind. Orion is spelt wrong. No wonder there wasn't a page for Orion. It was spelt wrong. You only have one show. Titan Streams DDO. You run it twice a week, but it's only one show. You, um... And I'm under the impression that you're going to actually cut that back to once a week. Nope, they're both in there. Read it, read it again. It says you stream on Sunday and Friday. Take a look. I need to go in and make a fix anyway. Um, Piker's Anonymous. I have Orion spelled wrong. Because I'm... It's Orion, not Orion. Orion. Uh, streaming Sundays at 8.45 p.m. and Eastern and Fridays at 12.30. Watch Titan Streams DDO on DDO Stream on Twitch. In the show, Titan, linked, runs through various parts of Thalanis just playing and having some fun. Feel free to add your, um, if you have a Twitter or your own Twitch channel or your Facebook or anything that you want to that page, Titan. That's your page for your stream. And Orion server doesn't exist either, so we're going to have to create that. There we go. And back to the wiki, main page. Let's um, switch back to in-game. You should probably add a shoe where if Lamania gets big update, we'll... Huh? I don't understand what you're saying. You should probably add a show. Oh, he usually does that on Weekly Wednesday, though. 
or he does it on Fridays at 4, or I do it, off schedule even. But it's still part of the same show, which is an off schedule airing of that show. I don't need to add a separate thing for that. <coughs> and no more begging for TP. Your, your dad's giving you 30k. You got plenty of TP. Yeah, but it's the same show. It's just an unscheduled run of the show. No need to add that. Let's kill the Ice Flenser! Yay! Leroy Jenkins! Roar! Barbarian Rage for 54 seconds. Smash, smash. Too enraged to perform this action. Don't mess with the barbarian. Yellow dungeon alert. Yeah, bring it on. What you got? You ain't got nothing. Come on, that all you got? You ain't got nothing. Elf zombie die. Zombie eat brains. Zombie eat brains. Oh yeah, I wonder if they have lesser restore pots. Shoe eat zombie. Uh, music, music, music. I need to add some music to my DDO wiki talk, I think. Very low in the background. Get a Mind Flare! I bet the Mind Flare is gonna win! You will obey! You will obey! The Mind Flare and the Dragon are locked in a contest of wills. This oh crap! Will be your chance to destroy the mind sunder. The mind flayer shrieks as it loses the mind sunder's power. The dragon reasserts its will and looks very annoyed. Poof! Mind flayer's not dead. He's not on his home plane. He's only been deported. Yay! I took the portal. All right, let's turn some stuff in here. <coughs> hmm, troubleshooter goggles. Spot, search, and listen. Let's go with that. I'm actually going to hang on to those. Let's put some goggles up here so I can switch back and forth. Haggle.
and half a bubble away from being XP capped. Give me another feather cloak. Even though I'm gonna go see if I can buy a feather falling ring from the auction house. I saw that post you comment out on Facebook, Grammar Hell. Welcome to Facebook. <laughs> so the level one are done on elite. Awesome. Up to 123 out of 400 favor. I got mailed because I hit the, the 100 mark. That's all turned in. Even grammar spelled wrong. Not really grammar hell, it's spelling hell. I suppose. Alright, so... L... Turned everything in. The only thing I haven't done out here is Slayer, and I'm not going to. Take me back to the harbor. Take me back. Home. Let's do cardamom. <coughs> Ooh, that was loud. Tambor. Let's do it. Although first I'm going to I need a new hire. Let's go buy some stuff from the auction house. Hit the bank. Yes, I know there was a bank at the bottom, but since I'm going to the auction house anyways. I love it when it snows. What's wrong with you, Titan? It gets all cold? That's not cold. Come on now. Is it 40 below? No, it's not cold. All right, auction house. Let's see here. Let's filter this for level one to three gear, all items. Sort by bio. Fortify gloves. Belt of speed. <coughs> Let's look at just level three items. Uh, nope, one to three. Put the word feather in there. Because I want a feather in my cap. Feather Falling Shard. Hmm. I never thought about selling shards. 18 degrees? That's warm. I love it. Bring it on. Feather Falling Bracers versus my Electric Resist. Feather Falling of Dodge. That's not bad. Feather Falling Ring. Could probably replace the Charisma. Feather Falling Boots. Well, I kind of like my Anger's Wrath. Plus two to hit. Although I really don't need it. Um, I'm not putting it in a belt. I really like those bracers. But I like electric resistance too. I don't have enough for any of those anyway. I don't have enough for anything here. It's all 5,000 plat buyout. I could bid on it for 500. I suppose I could buy the shard, bid on it for 500, and in three days I'll win it. Nah, heck with that. Alright, what else is there? What is there for level 3 to 3 weapons? No level 3 weapons. 1 to 3 weapons? Alright, there we go. B sword, great club, heavy pick. Uh, B sword, great axe. Uh, but knuckle smasher. Next page, comma of ghost pain. I posted that, I think. Hmm. Apparently, it sold. The one that I posted. No, mine was a repeater of ghost pain. Sword of the Giant Slave Master. Plus one Elf Bane. Empty Red Slot. <coughs> 2d6 plus one. 
I've got an empty red slot. Mm, I don't know, I'll have to look at that. Item augments. No rubies. Nothing I'm interested in. Next page. Although I suppose I could pop the minor acid or electric or whatever it is out of that other thing. But I'd have to have a jeweler's kit for that. I can't afford one of those. Bracus Axe. That's a battle axe. I could pop a minor frost out or something like that. I don't have that, so let's go on. Moving on. A lot of those axes. Madstone rods. Silver bastard sword. Should I get a red slot? Nope. Junk. Adamantine great axe. And now I'm over my price range. All right, so there's nothing there I can afford. Um, inventory, let's take a look. What am I wearing for a hat? Headgear, search. Corsair's cap, water breathing, swim. I got deadly on my hat. Deadly 2. That's my anger's gift. Well, I could put a trinket in, but I don't have any of those available. I don't think you can even buy them on the auction house, can you? Charisma 2. Yeah, the only reason I'm actually looking at the auction house to buy stuff is I got a belt of seeker and a deadly 2. Okay. The only reason I'm looking at the auction house is actually I can ditch that ring. It's just of no use to me. Um, is to get rid of some of this plat because I'm at plat cap. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Helm of accuracy. Eh, I don't really need that. Uh, so I got an empty ring slot. Let's go with jewelry. Take a look at rings. What can I buy for, I don't know, two, three, four thousand plat? Ring of Rage. Now that would be nice. Let's buy one of those. What else do we have? That's a, cl a clicky though. Those are above my price range. What is that? I've never seen Yargar's Magnificent Band, have I? Oh yeah, I have, sure. Grab knock. Hmm. Interesting. Another ring of rage. I'll bid 120 on it. I could use two of those. They're not exclusive, are they? Nope. I'll bid on it. All right, let's go. Now that I spent a couple thousand plat, let's go hit the bag over here and grab that and auction sold. Plus one repeating light crossbow of boat ghost bane. Oh, there's most of my 2,000 plat back. Auction one, detach. 100 total favor, 25 turbine points. Sweet. Inventory. So this goes in this slot right here. Well, it goes up here. That goes there. That's junk. Um... I need another ring, because that one's just junk. Let me look at rings. What else do I have available for rings? <coughs> One to three rings. Uh, I got 4,000 plat again. Ring of false life plus 10. How about a wisdom ring? That'll spend that 1,400 right back up. Do I have false life anywhere? Armor bonus, electric resistance, light fortification, haggle. I don't think I do. Let's buy that false life ring. And I like that look of it, so we'll buy that one. Um, 
Do I have 1400 yet? Left I do. Let's buy this one too. There. Now I have no plat. Awesome. So I can go sell stuff again. How about some pages for the QA team? Um, I'm pretty sure something like that exists. If they've public re publicly released information that they're willing to share, then I'm pretty sure that... They have pages on the wiki. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So, if I needed wisdom... Oh, I forgot to put that up there. If I needed wisdom, I could swap to that for a minute. It cost me 10 hit points, though. Do I want to do that? What's this other ring? Armor bonus. Hmm. <coughs> I actually don't get anything from that at all. So let's move the hit points over here. Put the wisdom over there. What's this one? Armored ring? That can go up there. Okay. So I can sell and repair that stuff and go run Bodri Cardman. Oh, right, lunch. Um, 1 30. So I'm going to take a break, maybe an hour or so, go get some lunch, and then I'll come back and I'll finish farming out XP cap and a lot of favor. Um, if anybody's on Orion, which I have spelt wrong, It should be Orion. How come nobody pointed that out to me? Orion. Um, let's go down and hit the guy to sell to down here. Yeah, now you tell me, Titan. Thanks. A little slow on the uptake, ain't we? <laughs> that means I streamed the entire stream the other day with Orion instead of Orion, and nobody picked up on it. On DDO stream. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just a little late. Let's repair stuff. <laughs> Samus is on Sarlona. Sweet. I don't need to have any more feather cro croaks. Alrighty. Done with my haggle stuff. Let's park myself right here. Um... I'm actually done there. Take it down. Yes. Elite opener needed for harbor quests. And take it down. And I heard there was a logout trick where you could type logout and just like leave it there. Uh, free medium french fries. I'm gonna shut it down till I'm back. Uh, it might take me only half an hour. Um, I just gotta run over to the store and grab some stuff real quick. Uh, I'll be back on as soon as I'm back. That's not going to work. Do slash quit too.
I'm going to leave this open. I'm just not going to be here. All right, so I'm going to shut my microphone off.
Hello. Ah, there you are. Hey, everybody. I'm back from going to the store to get some lunch. I got me some pie. Dig right underneath that while I wait for some people. Uh, what I'm debating doing is um, once I hit XP cap, in order to expedite expedite the process, I'm going to get on another tune and um, dual box on two machines and use another account to just um, pick up the favor real quick. Unless there's somebody that wants to run with me on Orion for favor. After I get my um, last bubble here. Server population is kind of low. I'm just going to throw out some random invites. Hello. <coughs> I'm going to do um, elite harbor quests for XP in favor. Might need an opener. I don't know if you can open or not. Indeed, eating my egg pie with spinach. I take that as a no. Who? Who's Lay Shroud? <sighs> Do I have to Google it? Lay Shroud. Ah, Canadian survival expert, filmmaker, and musician, best known as the creator, writer, producer, cameraman, director, and host of the television series Survivor Man. Never heard of him. Although I could probably teach him a thing or two. Ha ha ha. Looks like I can only open hards myself, so. <coughs> That's a pain. Mm -hmm. 
I see it. I don't think I look that much like him. I've been told they look like Quentin Tarantino as well. And when I was younger and I had hair, I was told that I would look like Leonardo DiCaprio. Whatever that means. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. So we're on Orion, huh? I don't have VIP on my account anymore either. And the only t server that I have TRs on are... Kenneth. Mm. Egg pie. So yummy. Egg pie a la quiche. That's okay, can you open elites? At this point, it's pretty much about farming favor. I'm almost at XP cap, so. Oh yeah, I need a, a higher. And I'm lagging. No bars held. No holds barred. I don't know. Open my first bag of um, cough drops here. <coughs> Honey lemon. My ex can't stand them. She thinks they are entirely gross. She doesn't like it when I have them because she thinks that they're gross. So I bought a bag of strawberry the other day, and she's like, oh, it doesn't matter. Really? You complain that you want me to do some other s flavor than honey lemon because you don't like the smell, and now it doesn't matter when I buy strawberry to make you happy. Can't, can't win for losing. All right. <coughs> Am I done lagging yet? Good. I'm looking for a hired hand. How about a nice favorite soul? How about I quit lagging? Wee! Let me just run Cardamon on hard while you log in. Send me a tell.
Cobalt bite my ankle. Cobalt goes squish. Under my boot. So Musk from Arganis made a wiki account. Our crate looks a little bit scorched. these stream tabs. Give me one minute, Gary, and I will give you a link. Let's answer Gary's question. Make sure Musk has VIP. I bet you did find it, since I gave you a link, silly, silly goose.
enter into Hazardel's ship. Crates line the walls. Time to start smashing. Do you use um, DDO preload? I know I have to use it on my old computer. It helps a lot if you don't have a solid state drive. <clears throat> My leg is all um, ISP related. Well, that and the fact that I'm. 60% uploading the other stream while I'm doing a new stream. So I'm uploading one stream to YouTube, making another stream on Twitch, and playing the, the game. So. That's where my lag's coming from. Successfully stopped Hazardale's illicit trade. Nope. Strength based. I could do con, but I didn't build it that way at the beginning, so. Well, yeah, it's got almost equal. I could have put a lot less into strength, though, if I was going to do con based barb. In 
retrospect, I probably should have done Conbase, but I didn't. So, I had actually thought about it, it just didn't happen. You make your way back into Hazardil's warehouse. Stealth might be an asset here. Get my hireling this time. Only what, 1300? So this should level, hit me, get me to level cap. XP cap, rather. Yay, Ring of Rage! Things drop all the time. I hope the festival gets here soon. I want to have some cookies. I hope it stays for a while too so I can have cookies on all my tunes. I believe this is an optional room. No optional dude in here though. I don't like him. You don't need a stream. Streaming is optional for you. It's optional for me too, but... Retrieve the Coin Lord's heavy container.
Turn them to him right away. Not so I loot this chest, dang it. Oh. So you may be unable to watch the stream while you're um, in game. Possible. Completes that chain. Ooh, I got one more bubble to go. Okay, so I got a little bit of time. Not quite XP cap yet. Let's go do a ringleader and see if that caps me. Uh, it won't. I need 7k. Let's just do a couple ringleaders. Get ringleader done. Hard and elite. <coughs> See where that leaves me. Should be at least 4,000 here. At least 5,000. Cool. Scurrying feet of kobolds can be heard nearby. It's likely you will plus optional. I might be able to next room. XP cap with this. With Hear a mechanism sliding open in the distance. This area of the hideout appears to have been sealed off deliberately. The only means of opening spiders and killer infested this area of the hideout is the one that was sealed off. And that kills everything up to that door. 
do that as quickly as I can through my rages. <coughs> if you have rings of rage, they do drop often. They also break fairly easy. So I recommend, they only have a hardness of three. I do recommend binding them. If you have any intention on using them repeatedly. I do wish that there would be a way to increase them to like an epic ring of rage and give you multiple charges on one item instead of having to have eight rings. But there are a few other rage clickies that give you three or five charges. But they're still not epic rings of rage. I mean, come on now. That would be epic. Legendary ring of rage. <laughs> Just in case. Conquest. I can kill blood members. And <coughs> run the Sun Elite. And I will be XP capped. And then I'll just need to get some favor. I'll come back when I'm done. I'll kill those slimy kobolds. Then I'll come back for my reward. You better have my monies. I'll eat your heart. The scurrying feet of kobolds can be heard nearby. <laughs> Likely you will encounter several of them in the next one. Do 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 do. Yeah, kobold, kobold, kobold. Hey, leave my favorite soul alone. Why are you picking on my favorite soul? Souls piking. That's my job. Heal me, woman, man, dude, whatever. Do, 
TDO Wiki. <coughs> TDO Wiki Talk with T13. Iron Offender, huh? You hear a mechanism sliding open in the distance. I'll let you send me a join request. Deliberately. The only means of opening the gate is by brute strength alone. Ooh, both of them. Double Chester. Ching. More rares the better. Point crit. Not bad for level three. Can't click F LFM. I'm over level. Hey, what's happening? I'll be done in here in just a minute, and then I should be XP cap, and we can do some favor stuff. Cap. You can zerg through, that's fine. 
I don't mind. Sure. Let me get over the shrine there. The uh, airship portal. Oakley Dookley. And that's the um, airship axis. <laughs> Legends of Orion, huh? Start right up in the corner over here, I guess. Clean out my inventory real quick. problem. I'll go pick up some more quests while you're um, dealing with that.
As you enter the sewer, garrison calls from above. Be careful down there. At the end of the tunnel, you see a makeshift gong and a lone kobold. Soft sound, like that of a snoring animal, echoes along the tunnel. dim signal crystal above a lever on the far wall. Metal grinds on metal and ripples spread across the water. grinds on metal and ripples spread across the water. Two signal crystals are placed above a metal gate. been unceremoniously discarded. Wish all these bones were a little cleaner. The air reeks of rotten meat. The floors, walls, and ceilings rip with ooze. It quivers as you approach. This room stinks a little less than the rest of this solid place. This probably marks it as the lair of a prince among kobolds. The second of the kobolds of the brothers has been slain. I'm going to check see if Muck's there. 
Oh, no muck. You have set foot on the infamous Butcher's Path, a gauntlet that has inspired many grim tavern tales. I'm in the Butcher's Path. <coughs> As you approach the dead end, you hear softly padded feet skitter behind you. It's an ambush! <laughs> Actually, gotta kill stuff in this one. You can go one way, I'll go the other, just for kills. Oh, nothing in here, okay. Just a mushroom. Woo! What's her name, Titan? Does she know you talk about that way about her? Do I get to get her to watch her, my stream so that she can see how you talk about her? He's, um, on Twitch. He's going to see his girlfriend, I guess. Sienna, apparently. Shauna, huh? <laughs> Come on, quit lagging. Am I DCing? Thank you. 
locked up, let's restart it. Maybe that locked up too. There it is. That fixed that. Now I just gotta wait for me to finish logging back in. Yay! Yeah, I don't know what happened there. D siege. Apparently, I died. What do you mean playing this server some? I'll be running up this build and a um, rogue cleric on this server. That's more useful. Ooh, lock that one. I need to sell real quick. Can do Haverdasher next.
play pretty much wherever. Wherever the good girls are. Skittering sound beneath the floor sets your nerves on edge. I'm only bothering with the chest to get the um, festival coins. Can do the um, recovering the lost home next. Librarian cheerfully agrees to show you his collection. He leads you below the tower, then motions you closer to speak. The air is chilly and damp. Despite this, the books seem bone dry. Magic must be at work here. Librarian scans the shelves, muttering to himself. Best wait for him to leave before trying to steal Dalsamara's books. The librarian has left the room quick. Obtain the book, the librarian's voice shrieks. I know your true intentions, thief. My traps will be the end of you.
it is time to leave this vile place. Nah. I think information is key as the next one. One seventy two total. Met one seventy two out of four hundred. Across the room, you see an iron defender. Looks fierce. Approaching the creature may cause it to leap to action. Descending into the basement, you hear another sound of whirring gears and a guttural growl. You see one of Osgood's men making his way down the tunnel ahead. He hears you approach and starts running. Notice that the smuggler is struggling to keep his grip on an awkward container. He must have the artifact. <laughs> Hear the rasp of stone against stone from somewhere above, as if a massive barrier is moving aside. Barbarian indeed. Oh, uh, somebody in Twitch asked if it was a barbarian.
tooltips on the minimap don't work when you're inside the tavern here. Let's see here. That's everything up north. So now we just got to do the southern half. Might as well start with cardamom. This would probably make a fun Night Revels quest. Redo it so there are, um... Oh, uh, not kobolds. Something undead. Day cobalts, I guess, and then have um, Hazadil, an undead Hazadil or a Lich Hazadil or something. That'd be cool. more minutes.
You enter into Hazardel's shipping. Crates line the walls. Time to start smashing. Three exits leave the room. You must hurry before Hazardel knows you are here. Keep smashing his crates. successfully stopped Hazardale's illicit trade. Make your way back into Hazardale's warehouse. Stealth might be an asset. Yep. A wary 
Today's hobo guards this room. You may be forced to fight. Turn them to him right away. Meow. One eighty four. I suppose I could pick up my bank tab, my bag tab from Coin Lord real quick. <clears throat> I only got two more level two, three more level twos. And then ones that I haven't done in the harbor. That'll get me 200. And then I think it's time to call it a day. 
<clears throat> get some other stuff to work on. Bringing the light. tab Hey, coin lord dude. Inventory space, please. Thank you. And I'm one of those over-organized people, so I'm gonna actually move everything over one tab. This is a favor run at the moment. I'm trying to get to 400 favor so that I can unlock drow on this server, on this account. So if you're on Orion and you want to run with me to unlock some favor, I don't care what level you are. You're more than welcome to run elites with me to unlock favor. I think that would be great. Yeah, well, it's been a while since a lot of people see the Orion server. Um, I was even spelling it wrong for an entire stream for three hours <clears throat> on Sunday, and nobody noticed. So, that's how popular Orion is. Deleted all of your tunes. Oh, that's silly. Hmm. Have I been playing DDO long? Um... Let's see here. Let's switch screens real quick. All right, so I've switched over. Have I been playing DDO long? Um user well let's just start here ddo stream that's this account um and this is gonna and this is something that's done for the shoe cobbles a stream now uh, this is part of the i'm running the dwarven barbarian build right now um what i'm doing is i'm trying to unlock rogue for next week's stream which is a drow rogue mechanic and I am Shoemaker from DDO Wiki. I have been playing since before November of 2009. That's when I started editing the wiki. <coughs> My VIP expired a couple weeks ago. So I don't have another account with a VIP at the moment. But I am the DDO Wiki guy. 22,500 edits at the top of the list. Me. Woo!
So I've been playing a little while. Since 2009 at least when I went free to play. hard. <laughs> Why does my four-year-old want a karaoke machine? I do remember sigils. We now see them in every chest as um, renown. If you have access to renown, if you're in a guild, they repurpose them into renown sigils. I thought that was kind of a cool thing for them to do. I think I bought a couple when they went on sale for 10 turbine points apiece. Just before they got rid of them. <coughs> Leveling th sigils were a thing. Most certainly. Solo guild with two people. throwing stuff at me. Either me or the other guy is on, but not both at the same time. Interesting. Never party. I rarely do. Cascades of putrid water rush. Yeah, but you buy that with plat, so. Or uh, astral shards, rather. There does not seem to be a way to disrupt their flow. I don't know why I get hit hit there. 
of all places. Levers on the wall might be used to lower this half of the bridge. <coughs> Lowering the second half may require a short swim. Tiny bubbles. When you get kicked out of a guild, usually the best thing to do is make your own. It appears to be the safest place to leave. And I get kicked out of a guild, I wait for the next guild invite. Doesn't happen very often. I'm one of those people on the server that everybody knows, so... If they see me without a guild, they're like, Join my guild! Join my guild! Join my guild! I'm like, eh. Alright. for a while. I'm going to give her answers that she would give me. Cascades of putrid water rush through these echoing tunnels. Vents spew noxious fumes into the tunnel. There does not seem to be a way to disrupt their flow. Levers on the wall might be used to lower this half of the bridge. Lowering the second half may require a short swim. I don't know if I'd say that. I'd say it's more like, um... I am the DDO Wiki guy, so everybody knows who I am. It appears to be the safest place to leave. It's something that comes with the territory. You do a lot of stuff to contribute, people know who you are. I also stream on DDO Stream, um, which is the official Turbine DDO Stream. <coughs> And I'm on the Players Council, and I work on the Character Planner, and I work on a couple of other crafting planners and sites. So everybody knows who I am. When you do that kind of stuff all over the place, eh, a little bit, just because I'm a Players Council member. Most people know me as Shoemaker. Shoemaker. 
shoemaker, oh shoemaker, oh make me some shoes. DDO Wiki Steward Shoemaker. Woo! One of three stewards. One is the host who never, well, rarely plays. One is Yoko5000, and one is me, Shoemaker. I'm not even going to bother with the taking advantage of the quest on this one. Your way into the <coughs> you are assailed by rank smells, the slick floor yeah, check out this um, link down here, this URL. So go to the forums and put in 468804 and check out... Eh, kind of is, depending on what server you're on. Some servers are a lot deader than others. I don't think there's any need for a server merge. Could use a little bit more advertising, though. The bodies of some of the missing adventurers litter the floor near the left. There is a lever here. Perhaps it is tied to the crystals that power the gate. <coughs> I really don't have that good of a search. Well, seven, I guess. Wait, how much intelligence do I have? Twelve? Hmm. I don't know. Lever here. Perhaps it is tied to the crystals that power the gate. The bodies of missing adventurers that are the floor in the lab. Rampant cheating. What do you mean? You mean the duping that was happening? I think they pretty much got it under control. It was out of control for a while. I think they pretty much got most of it taken care of. All about you. You see the telltale signs of kobolds through the sewers. Return to the woman and tell her what you have learned. Yep. Yeah, message from my mom.
you make your way into the sewer, you are assailed by rank smells. The slick floor is equally foul. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I got it. Who's on me? Two crystals, dull and lightless, flank the gate. There must be a mechanism to activate them within the tunnel. I don't think duping happened for years. Um, I know there was some small scale stuff, but usually they fix it pretty quickly. Uh, there was one instance recently where it took them a little while, but I don't think it's a rampant issue. There isn't any duping that I'm aware of at the moment, or anything major anyway. I've heard that there may still be some ways to do some minor stuff, but... signs of a significant force of kobolds. There is a lever here. Perhaps it is tied to the crystals that power. The bodies of missing adventurers litter the floor of the lever. I don't like doggies. They trip. Well, if you want to share that information with somebody, uh, Cordovan or Steel Star or Varguil or something, I'm sure they'd be happy to know it. Happy to have that information. All about you. You see the telltale sign. If you don't want to share, then you're part of the problem. That's all I can really say about that. Return to the woman and tell her what you have learned. If you know all these stashes exist, and you're not helping to resolve them, get those accounts banned and shut down, then you're part of the problem. That's my personal opinion on it. Ooh, 200. Halfway there. Finish this up, and then I got three more quests back in the harbor to do at level 2. And then I just got level 3 quests until I hit... Ah, crud. Um, then I got level 3 quests. I'll have to look at the cheat sheet for um, how much favor you get from each one. your way into the sewer, you are assailed by rank smells. The slick floor is equal to two crystals, dull and lightless flank the gate. There must be a mechanism to activate them within the tunnels. Along the floor and walls of the sewer, you find signs of a significant force of kobolds. There is a lever. <coughs> 
it is tied to the crystal. The bodies of some of the missing adventurers litter the floor of the left. I'm actually going to show you a shortcut in this quest on Elite, just because they're hitting so hard in here. I'm going to show you a shortcut. You'll notice I haven't activated the lever yet. But I'm gonna get rid of those um, All about you. You see the telltale shamans first, just because they're gonna be really painful on the end fight if I don't. And that's how you do that. I'm in the end fight room before the gates open. You can actually sneak around the side of it. <coughs> if you don't like the fact that people are cheating, then you need to say something about it. All I can say. It's not about banning everybody that's ever duped something. It's about banning the people that have 25,000 of everything in their bank. Because they dupe so much that they have multiple banks accounts just full of stuff that's been duped. They duped an item or two, so what? Dang it, laggy. Can't move. Can't even jump. Well, at least I finally died. Gotta drink those. Making me mad.
already used this one. The other one that I didn't use yet. <sighs> Come on, with the lag. This is what I wish they would fix, the lag. Unfortunately, they can't fix my ISP. They can't fix Time Warner Cable. So there's not much they can do about it. Reuse hearts, huh? issues have been resolved for now so somebody finds a new way to do it I know that you can't reuse XP stones anymore that's been resolved it was in the notes or somewhere back in the harbor let's see here what do I got <clears throat> bringing the light and then Stealthy Repo, ew, I really don't want to do that two more times. <laughs> Why do I have to? <coughs> I can do this one twice, though. I'm going to take a nap shortly, I think. Take a big break, take a nap. You dispatch the guards with ease. The way into the gambling hall is clear. A little bit of a cold going on, it's making me really tired quite often.
You dispatch the guards with ease. The way into the gambling hall is clear. Oh, come on, lag, really? <sighs> Dogs are gonna kill me because of a little bit of lag. That makes me mad. That makes me really mad. A little bit of lag, dead. That's what frustrates me. You can't move, but they can. Network lag, gotta love it. Oh, cool. Hey, Gemini is streaming. Give me a meat hand, meat head. Would you meat hands? Pick up my two hundred favor. Welcome. I am currently live streaming as well. Stepping in. I almost had this done except for I lagged a little bit. And lag is death in here. Come on in.
process. A small mirror is mounted above the cabinet on the northern wall. A large, ugly fellow approaches with murder. Ramsey Morton falls to his knees and then flaps his face. His business will offend the church no longer. I've got, um... Stealthy repo and smuggler's warehouse left to do. And then I'll have level twos done. I gotta do them both on hard and elite unless you have elite unlocked. Alright, I'm gonna do um, Stealthy Repo first on hard. <clears throat> if you wanna just pike, that's fine. Just don't kill the prophets. A set of kobold footprints crosses and recrosses itself on the dusty floor. Several doors lead deeper into the warehouse. A high pitched kicking noise is the stink of unwashed kobold pervades this room. You wonder whether wash bogos will smell any better. A stairway leads down into a lower section of the warehouse. Several steps are spattered with rust-colored spots. ramp descends into the warehouse's lowest depths. Surprisingly, the ramp is spotless and dust-free. This makes you feel uneasy. This must be the kobold's airside cheap gently overflows the strange and sickly light. do it again on Elite. Isn't that awesome? Hmm. It's 
not bad. Hang on to that one. Woohoo, elite. Fun. You can pike at the beginning again if you want, just don't kill any prophets. <laughs> Several doors lead deeper as long as I don't lag, I can do this. It's actually a pattern that you can run and stay ahead of them. Stairway leads down into a lower section of the warehouse. Several steps are spattered with rust-colored spots. This might prove to be a troublesome run. again I had a couple lag spots there and if you lag it all in there there's just no way to run through it <laughs> step on out we'll start it over I'm guessing you're still getting XP, even though I'm XP capped. Oh, okay. Well, then stay in. I don't care. That doesn't usually work very well because you pick up a lot of aggro unless you just like suicide. that usually one person runs as far as they can until they die and then the other one goes in waits a minute for dungeon alert to go down and then runs the rest of it let's go step into a tavern for a minute and get my um haste clicky back expedious retreat rather <coughs> just 
just don't kill anything. Just pull levers, open doors, that kind of thing. Uh, I can't turn the light on. Let's just have some eggnog real quick. All right, I'll reset it in a minute. I did. Smuggler's Warehouse and Stealthy Repo are actually the last level twos, and then I'm on level threes. <coughs> I'm not sure how, <clears throat> how far I want to go through level threes without getting any XP, and I can't level up or do anything, and I'm at XP cap right now, so... I have to think about that, how I want to do that. I don't get any XP right now, at all. I'm at 71,999 out of 72,000. I'm actually tempted to um, take another level or whatever, or not worry about the XP and just run through it and then re-roll this tune and rebuild it just the way it is. I don't know yet. It's for a stream that I do. And I want to do all the leveling up on the stream, so... Set of cobalt footprints crosses yep, and not a problem. itself on the dusty floor. Some several doors lead deeper into the weapon. The stink of unwashed cobalt pervades this room. You wonder whether washed cobalt would smell any better. Stairway leads down into a lower section of the warehouse. Several steps are spattered with rust colored spots. Nope. 
dead. I can't even move. Alright, let's see if I can make it back up here. The lever? Nah. You Alright, the lever for that is... I don't think I can make it that far. Right over here, up against the right-hand wall. Here, I'll be right back in. Hey, Turi. You can stay in, I'll just pop right in and show you where it is. Okay. Yeah, I'll be running level 1 on Sunday at 3 on a um, Drow Rogue, which is why I need 400 right now to unlock Drow. It's going to be, it's a, um, it's a, it's a series on um, how to be able to build first life tunes for uh, Barbarian, Rogue, Cleric, and Wizard. So anybody that starts playing the game can build one of these tunes. Just with free to play stuff. So let's see here. I need 188 more favor. I can get three from Stealthy. I can get six more from Smugglers. That leaves me 179. So. How much level 3 stuff do I have to do in order to be able to take to unlock Drow? Correct. 400 favor unlocks Drow. So let's see here. Level 1, level 2, level 3. What do I get for level 3 stuff? I get where there's smoke. So for where there's smoke, I take off... Nine, Swipe Signet is 12, Red Fang is 9, uh, Cobalt Assault is 9, The Captives is 9, that leaves me 131, the first two parts of Waterworks is 24, that's 107. And then I'm in level 4 stuff, so I get 9, 
Um, and 12, that finishes out Waterworks, leaves me 103 more to get. Proof is in the Poison is 15. Iris Stone is 12. Fresh in the Air is 9. The first two in the Depths Chain is 18. The next two in the Depths Chain is another 18, gets me to 31. Layer of Summoning, Chamber of Insanity, Archer's Point, leaves me four. Mirrors is 12. So I'd have to run all the way up to level six content. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> I might roll up another tune to, that I can delete. All right, so apparently I'd have to run all of the level one through five content on Elite and then one level six quest in order to get 400 favor. I'm not going to do that on that tune. That would hurt my XP way too much. But I am going to finish the um, level 2s on Elite. And then what I'll do is I'll roll up another tune. Um... To just farm favor real quick in the next couple days. All right, so where are you at? Let's see here. So what you want to do is head um, west there, go through the door, and there'll be a lever on your right-hand side. Hit that lever. You're going to hit that lever and hit head straight. Hit that lever and hit straight east, and you're going to jump off the edge of the bridge to the right-hand side and go through the opening there. There'll be a lever in the little cubby there. If you make it. <laughs> and then once you turn around from that lever in the little cubby after jumping off the bridge and going through the door, there'll be a ladder you can go up to take a break and get some hit points back. And there'll be a lever at the top of the ladder. Yep, you're going to... Nope, don't worry about that door. Just keep heading east. Jump off the right side of the bridge. Go through the door there and pull the lever that's right in front of you. Turn around and climb up the ladder. There should be a lever to your right and a ladder to your left. Well, you did pretty well. On my way. 
set of kobold footprints crosses and recrosses itself on the dusty floor. Sometimes yep, those are um. Those are throwers, so they can actually throw at you while you're climbing the ladder. Several steps are spattered with rust-colored spots. Flimsy-looking suspension bridges converge on a central platform. There are many footprints in the dust on the rotting slats. Ah, oh, man. Let's see if I can get up the ladder. Did you get the other lever on the other side? Okay, not a biggie. From up on top of the platform here where it's a safe spot, I can actually thin some of these guys out once I get my hit points back with my trusty old ember shortbow. really fast with a bow, but as long as I don't kill profits, it's okay. I think the rest of those are profits. Let me check a couple pots. So I'm actually going to run up here and have them chase me. Jump off. Get that lever. <clears throat> and now I can go through the door and get the, the gem at the end. A ramp descends into the warehouse's lowest Crap. depths. Surprisingly, the ramp is spotless and thus free. This makes you This must be the kobold's air sat. Gem on the altar glows with a strange and sickly light. Now I can actually come back up and get your stone, run you to the shrine.
I hate it when I get feared. It's annoying. There's a shrine right behind us. I don't know if you have Cobalt Monster Manual, but there's a lot of red name Cobalts in here. Chest over here. Just gotta watch out for the trap. I get one more cobalt to kill here. Then I got a couple of chests to loot. So let's go get um, Smuggler's Warehouse. Uh, I gotta run it twice. Stepping in and hard.
Hey, Kaleth. Welcome. We're in Smuggler's Warehouse. Didn't have an opener, so we're doing it on hard real quick. And then he leaked. Hey, how's it going? Doing hard than elite. Shrine of the door to the shrine is open. The kobolds chat and shriek nonsensically. They caper about a rude shrine to strange gods. Flinch as an unseen web clings to your face. Below, chittering voices rise in a hungry anticipation. Pop out and pop right back in on Elite and do it again.
in on elite. This place stinks of kobolds and decaying trash. Vermin scurry away from your footsteps. Kobolds are milling about in the space beyond, rummaging through trash and spitting curses at one another. Flinch as an unseen web clings to your face. Below, chittering voices rise in hungry anticipation. Is everybody in? You only got one gem left. Done. And that rounds out the level twos for me. So I'm going to roll up another tune to fire out favor since I got to do so much to hit 400. But I'm going to take a nap first.
because it's my nap time. When you're an old man, you'll have a nap time too. Not a problem. <laughs> 